Hi, I'm Chris Berman. Ahead on ESPN, people's thoughts in mid-October naturally turn to postseason baseball and the World Series. But as week seven of the NFL comes your way, we've got our own version of a fall classic lined up for you here. 49ers, Packers. This ought to be good. The fans are finding their way to their seats, uh, those who really own those seats, as we get set to begin this exciting game. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to historic Lambeau Field. With me is my friend and co-worker Peter O'Keefe. Peter, this game looks to be an interesting matchup. Both teams have some nice depth at the tight end position, wouldn't you say? Yes, sir, Dan. The tight end position is sometimes overlooked, but coaches know the value of players like these. The 49ers have some tight ends who can really get it done running routes and catching the ball. That adds a whole dimension to their offense that many teams lack. The Packers have a squad of tight ends with a lot of talent. When they can all contribute to the offense, they're in great shape. Both groups should factor heavily in the outcome today, but only one will go home with the W. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I'll try heads. Heads it is. Number two, kicking off for the Packers. It's time for the ref gets the signal and we're set. Number two kicks it off to begin the game. Number 18 fields it all the way back at the 523 yard line. Number 44 makes a tough catch, and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him. Eventually runs out at the 24. First down. Number 44 goes Hollywood here with a nifty move after the catch. Nice. Gotta love a guy who not only can make those moves, but can get big yards off him, too. He's off those shorter catches. No doubt. Number 10 throws a lob here and it's tip incomplete. Fourth down coming up. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth. Number nine. Rockets this one in for a clean field goal. Let's see it again. He's got plenty of room on either Sickers. Offense takes the field, and they will start with their own 24-yard line. Williams will... Murphy uses his size to clear a lane for his man. Oh, beautiful blocking. I didn't say that guy. Rodgers throws it deep down the left sideline, and it's intercepted. The 35. Pushed out at the 46. I'm coming now. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, okay. oh, 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 Number 23 benefits from a huge error on the receiver's part. The ball gets dropped. And he's there to scoop it up. But I don't think he's going to give it back. <laughs> Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his six-yard line. <laughs> At the 41. Adams sends this offense back settling with a nice sack in the backfield. They lose some yardage there, Peter. It has to feel like they're going down and up. It works. They read that play the whole way, and they force a third in very, very long. First Monstrous D, the past few downs for these. Number 15 has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have. First down, two wideouts on the field. Number 10 gets all of his arm in the middle for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming away will give him the second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number 10 just rifles this one and it's intercepted. Ten. 
feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. Which is the end. That is one unhappy man down there. This is not your runner. Absolutely. Rogers makes the long, long pass and. Number 32 puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Ward took care of his part of the field during this play. He plays the zone perfectly and disrupts the pass. Watch this. Number 85 goes in motion. Morris catches it in the flat and is at the... Intercepted. Intercepted. down at the 37. Check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. He's got it, and I must say that was some the second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the model for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. Williams sticks close to his blockers here, and it pays off. Lewis makes the nice catch, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Lewis went to town on that baby, gets yards, gets the first, and, and eventually gets out of bounds. And Peter, we had a couple of giraffes going after that one. <laughs> that time, Coach Erickson doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want a challenge. San Francisco is challenging whether the pass was caught inbounds. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. San Francisco will not be charged for timeout. Second down. He likes yeah. the call, and you sort of have a feeling yeah. that... This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Holding, number 29, defense. Five-yard penalty, automatic first down. Number 29 tries to contain his man on this play and ends up holding him. That's going to draw a flag. Let's watch. Oh, yeah, easy call. Defensive hold. <laughs> Rodgers throws the pass, and it's... <laughs> Improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Rodgers throws it deep down the left side. <laughs> Number two kicks from 39 yards out, and it's good! Number two knocks through a good-sized kick. Watch here. Nowhere close to his max, but he's obviously sterile. 19 Morris gets the lead off and he's out. Right 22. Goodwin pulls it in right side and they get the first. Goodwin had three guys covering him on this play and he still made the catch. I don't know if it was a good effort by him or a bad one by the defense. It could have been, well, check it out. He's now up over a thousand yards. Number 15 catches the heater left sideline and he picks up nine. Trigger, trigger. It looks like, uh, oh, yeah, we've had an trigger. injury down on the field. Oh, as soon as we right hear now. anything, You're we'll right. be sure to pass right. the information. On. Gilbert made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. The defense's base could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 26. Good on that play by some great blocking. Open up holes for him. Without those blockers, he would have... First down, 10 yards to go. Rodgers pulling some beauty. Second down coming up. Gets three, 
interception. Stop 49ers. at the... Sherman does a nice job picking off the pass there. He's got it, and he gets a little more with that nice little run back. That's his fourth interception of the year. We'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at the 47-yard line. Number 15 grabs the 22-yard line. Ball at the 25. Number 15. Ball at the 11. Number 10 rolls this one to the end. Doctor, and apparently he's got a hairline fracture in his finger. They're finishing up putting a brace on him, and it looks like he should be ready to come back in soon. Back to you, guys. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susan. Third down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Number 10 rolls this one to the end zone, and it's cut the penalty for is the score. Touchdown. It's an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. And shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. It's the sack, it's the sack. and the clock continues to run. Check gray, 17. Check gray, check gray, 17. Check gray. This one will fall incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Cobb ran a corner route back there, but Unable to make the reception. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, and he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Scott lines up to punt after the three and out. Scott gets the ball and pummels this one deep. Number 18, Fair catches it at the 27. And that'll do it That's for the, the first half of, the of this quarter. one. The 49ers are out in front, 10 to three. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our halftime comparison. And as you can see, total yards definitely tell the story thus far. The 49ers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. An exciting start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Number 44 came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. That set up a 41-yard field goal. The 49ers strike first and go up by three. The Packers early in the first, number 23, was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Niners, after getting an interception, Niners up by three. Jackson is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Niners again have it. Number 21 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Niners ahead, three to nothing. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. That set up a 40-yard field goal. The Packers tie it up three all. 49ers now early in the second quarter. Number 10 connected with his man on this one. The Packers midway through the second, game tied, three all. Sherman would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Niners have it off an interception. Number 10 would find his target on this one. An 11 yard touchdown for the 49ers. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are down, but still in it, 10 to three. They do score, you can see that it's the field goal. They need to punch it in if they want to pick up to get them into the second in a short situation. Yeah, great play. And now they have a Rodgers lets it go deep down the right side. First down. It's complete for the first down and a whole lot more. Rodgers lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. And Peter with height was what did it. Williams takes it for his eight. Rodgers makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's caught for a touchdown. Touchdown, Packers. 
Rodgers goes right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got six takes the field, and they have a way to go. They start at their own 15-yard line. Number 94 sacks him way back at the 10. Number 94, of course, the Number 10 zings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Back down at the 12. Martinez snags it. He has some help here covering the zone, so that frees him up to analyze the play. And it gives him the interception of the game, and Peter, the D is holding in on a passing game. A tough play. I love it. For them, that play would have tanked. They moved the ball, and it will be a tackle so far. I bet we see the pass here. Right to his go-to receiver. He's in for the touchdown. It's a nice short yardage run here, Dan. When push comes to shove, you want to be able to get it. comes out and finds themselves losing for the first time in the game. This <laughs> Number 10 throws a high, long one to the right, and it falls incomplete. Good one. Muffed an almost guaranteed catch there, and as a receiver, you had to drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the Wow, those three. are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Set. Black, four to four. Williams gets the call again. Rogers zips it to the left. Adams catches the bullet out there. Adams goes one on one on this play and beats his man who executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man to man. He was one step ahead of the defense. Number 18 thought he had some running room right, from the end zone okay. but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The 49ers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 15-yard line. Number 10 throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. That's the end of the and that'll do quarter. it for the third quarter. The Packers enjoying the lead 24 to 10. Morris pitches it in. Number 10 throws this on a... Number 29 got a hand on it to tip it away. They force a turnover on downs. Number 29 gets himself into the perfect position to tip the ball incomplete. That's what I call pass protection, Dan. He gave the receiver no chance to get... I just don't see how they were in four down there, especially at the end of the football field. That's a... Williams gets his number called on second down and gets the touchdown. touchdown Williams keeps it in the family on this play, and he had a lot of brothers to help him. Yeah, that design run was a success because he's wash on that play. The 49ers offense comes out, and they are way down late in the game. They'll need some magic as they start this drive at their own 22-yard line. Number 10 fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Good one. First down to the left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Down! Number 97 gets the sack way back at the 49. Second down with a split backfield. Every chance they get. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Number 10 throws this one deep down the right sideline, and it's incomplete. Pass interference, number 38, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul, 
Automatic first down. Williams draws the flag here from some aggressive coverage. He can't be that physical with a receiver and get away with it. Yeah, that's pass interference, all right. Good call. Number 94 gets the sack way back at the 31. Number 10 throws a heater. Peter, they cannot seem to connect on the long ball. Taking some shots there, but successful at all with the pass. This play was more brutal. Well, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Number 10 throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. The Packers offense takes the field. They're in command, and they'll probably look to take time off the clock. They will start at their 30. 40 yard line. Williams chews up four yards, and that will bring up first down. Williams gets the toss and runs into traffic. Cross. Four yard line. Williams takes it across the line. Williams gets the call on fourth down and converts the fourth down. What a play. Williams played it smart back there by following his blockers. Williams dodges this one way out right and gets the first down. The clock continues to run. Williams can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice run of the drive. Williams will get the carry on first down and hit. Williams has his number called on third down and can't convert the third down. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Packers come out on top, 31 to 10. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Yeah, all right. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN video games post-game wrap-up. The Packers stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Rodgers connected with his man on this one. A 26-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers again tie it up 10-all. Martinez was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Packers, after getting an interception, game tied 10-all. Williams got the carry here, and he was able to break through. The Packers have it again. Rodgers is going to get this one out to his wide receiver, and he'll do the rest. A 40-yard touchdown for the Packers. Packers out in front, 24-10. to Williams got the carry here, and he comes through. A nine-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Packers have opened it up and now lead by 21. Number 10 would find his target on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers serve up a blowout, 31 to 10. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game and is our player of the game. Williams is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What put you guys over the top? Well, I have to give it up to the other team. I got to give them credit for playing hard and making us really work for it. We just leave it all on the field and let the chips fall where they may. And luckily, we came up with the win today. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Got a lot of games to cover. Let's get at it. In our first game this week, we had the Bills decisively win by 17 points. Sutton stepped it up this week 
and gave his team some added firepower for the win. Number five, passed for 150 yards plus and helped his Jaguars beat the Cowboys. In San Diego, right by Coronado Bay, we had the Chargers lose by a narrow five-point margin. In an AFC South matchup, we had the Texans win their fourth game of the year. Down at Pro Player Stadium, we had the Dolphins lose by 11. 49ers, Packers. Rodgers would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Packers go on to win this by the final score of 31 to 10. Ravens won on the road and will have to travel again next week when they meet the Saints. The Jets got 300 plus yards from their offense in their victory at Giant Stadium. Hogan had a stellar game, but all said and done, his performance wasn't enough to lift his team to a victory. Hunt ate up over 100 yards on the ground and helped his Chiefs beat the Bengals. Down in the sunny skies of Arizona, we had the Cardinals come away with a brutal 18-point victory. Panthers, Eagles. Number 59, playing a little defense outside. He can play linebacker against the run and against the pass, and we were right, 16-yard touchdown. The Panthers win this one by the final score of 35 to 28. And in our final game, we had the Patriots come away victorious. All right, Chris, thanks. In front of you, we've got the AFC Infirmary Report. And as you can see, they were hit hard this week. This guy won't see action for a while, so this offense is going to have to make do without him. It's reported that he's fractured his leg and that he'll be out for the rest of the season. In front of you, we've got the NFC list. And as you can see, they could form their own mash unit. Josh Norman will be on the sidelines for a while, so this defense will need to do some reshuffling in his absence. A hairline fracture of the arm is the initial report, and the doctors are saying he'll be out for the rest of the regular season. There's a chance, however, they'll get him back for the playoffs. Now the big story of the day. This guy will be on the sidelines for a while, and that is not good news for his club. So that'll do it for now. Chris, let's send it back to you. So that'll just about do it. But before we go, I'm going to toss out a few game balls to my prime time players. Each and every one of these men had a week to remember. That'll do it, sports fans. I'm Chris Berman, and thanks so much for joining us here in the Bristol studios. We'll see you next week right here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports.